Hey fam, how you guys doing? Today I wanted to be talking about a quick little video and share this knowledge bomb that I hold very dear to my heart and something that I've learned from a mentor of mine called the PPHD method. And that is to help you get out of any sort of a rut that you're feeling in, in terms of your life trajectory. You feel like you're sort of stuck where you are right now, you're not really sure how to get to that next level, or push through that plateau that you're currently um, stagnating at, and uh, just to, in general, help you become the best version of yourself, right? So this is definitely gonna be the video for you if you feel like you're in that sort of scenario or something similar, right? So the PPHD method. Now, preface to that, um, a lot of people, you know, when it comes to where they are currently in love, usually love to blame external shit, things that they can't control, and that's going to be the fault or the reason for where they are in life. Now, you need to be at least owning up to the fact that where you are in life is purely based upon your decisions. And once you own up to that fact, you are then giving yourself permission to be able to get yourself out of that. Right now, with that sort of a mindset going into this, you need to be looking at the four things that's going to be the people in your life. Normally, the five people that you spend the most time with would usually be able to tell you, you know, the decisions you're going to be making based upon the information that you take in, and then uh, what you're used to and what other people are telling you based upon the advice and uh, also where they're going to be going in life. Then we're going to be looking at the places that you spend time at, and uh, that's going to be where you work where you learn, where you sleep, where you eat, and where you spend time to relax. Now, you're gonna be using all five of those places exclusively for those specific actions. And I'm gonna be telling you why. Now, your brain associates um, actions with places very easily. They're, they're called neuro neurological pathways, okay? So if I'm gonna be working at my desk, which is just here across from um, the my, my seat that I have, uh, and, and I'm working there, my brain's gonna associate this desk with me working here. The same with um, if I eat in the kitchen, um, it's going to associate food with the kitchen. That's why when I go to the kitchen, I automatically go to the fridge without me thinking of that usually. Now, that's the same when it goes to sleep. That's the same um, when, it go, when it comes to where you eat and also to where you live. Now, if you start mixing up those five actions in between the places that you um, use them at, your brain will start getting confused. And that's why you feel very distracted when you do certain things. If you're eating at your desk or if you're currently learning in your bed or if you if you you know if you're doing anything that's clashing with those specific exclusive activities. Now you need to be using those five, at least five dedicated places um, for these specific actions so that you can get the most from them and for you to also be able to focus properly. Right, so that's just a little tip and trick and hack. Then um, you need to be looking at the habits that you form, the good, the bad, the ugly, and those you don't even want to mention, and uh, replace them with good habits. Rather than crushing them out or, or telling yourself that you're just going to get rid of them, replace them with proper good habits. Now then, with those good habits that you currently have, you should still need to be reinforcing them through incentives that you give yourself. Now, something stupid would be, you know, if you, if you read 10 pages, crack open a can of soda, even though it's very unhealthy, drink a can of soda, or you know, just grab, grab yourself something to chop. Now that's, that's a, a very simple thing for me. When I, when I was smoking previously, I would, I would either learn or you know, if when I was in sales, I, I, would, I would whack out a couple of calls, maybe 10 or 15 cold calls. Once I'm done with that, I'll be able to go outside, grab a smoke, come back in. You know, that, that was my reward for that specific action. It worked, I was calling like a beast, but you know, at the end of the day, <laughs> smoking wasn't good for you, so I had to stop that. But that besides the point, incentivize and reward yourself for the good habits and then replace the bad habits with the good through incentivizing those good habits that you start building, right? Then lastly, also looking at the distractions that you have, we spoke about those five places that you spend exclusively on specific actions. You need to be eliminating all distractions around that so that you can give optimal focus to those specific things that you're currently doing. So if I'm reading, I wanna be in a quiet place. I don't wanna be in a place where the TV's on or there's any sort of electronic, my laptop's around the room, not even my phone because any sort of Facebook message could trigger my brain to think about, hey, what's happening on my phone? Then I go down the Facebook rabbit hole and two hours down the line, uh, I figure out, uh, just watch two, th two hours worth of Facebook videos. So that's, that's a little chip and hack. So PPHD, look at people, places, habits, distractions. I promise you this will speak, um, this will speak miles for a lot of introspection that you thought you could have done just in a short 30 minute window. Um, don't, don't, don't make this activity way too, too work intensive. Just go through it, go relax into it, spend some time on it and I promise you it's going <laughs> to provide you a lot of clarity into where you are and why you're there.